Hello everyone, today I am here with another important topic, Assam Agitation, which was started in the year 1979 and ended on 1985, 15 August. We will study this Assam Agitation in a structural form. First of all, we would like to study in what is the background of Assam Agitation. Next, what were the events that had taken place during Assam agitation? Number three, what were the outcomes or impacts of Assam agitation? First of all, the background. Indian Independence Act of 1947 gives two nations. One was India, another was Pakistan. And Bangladesh was included in Pakistan. In that time, Pakistan was said to be West Pakistan and Bangladesh was said to be East Pakistan. The culture, language, ethnicity, food habits of Pakistan was completely different from that of Bangladesh. At the same time, Pakistan, which was mostly dominated by Punjabi people, the Bangladesh was dominated by Bengali pe people and Bangladesh which was full of resource at that time because it contains fertile soils which is very favorable condition for the cultivation of rice and jute and what happened the West Pakistanis they used to exploit the Bangladeshi people. The budget which was allotted to Bangladeshi people was very less than that of the West Pakistan. At the same time, the West Pakistanis, they used to think the Bangladesh as the second great citizen people. So this, because of all this reason, one more reason is that um, in 1947, Muhammad Ali Zinna declared that if someone speaks Bengali and Hindi, they are the traitors of the country. So they must speak Urdu language. So because of all this reason, people of Bangladesh felt the humiliation. And they realized that they are really considered the second standard citizen of Pakistan. Because of which the revolt occurs among the Bangladeshi people. And uh, among them, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, who became, who came out to be the hero among the rebels or revoltists. And meanwhile, from 1947 to 1958, Pakistan was running smoothly. But in 1958, there was a takta I mean to say that change in the government. In 1958, Pakistan was ruled by military. The general Ayub Khan became the Ayub Khan became the president of the Pakistan. He was the dictators. In 1969, in 1969, Ayub Khan was forced to resign by the rebellion that is done by Bangladeshi people. Bangladeshi people did does rebels or revolt against the Ayub Khan because he was dictator and he was forced to resign from the post of president in. 1969 he was succeeded by Ahia Khan he was also a what a dictator in 1970 the Bangladeshi people or the Bangladeshi rebel they forced the Pakistan's presidents to held the elections and when the result of election came the Sheikh Mujibur Rahman party got maximum number of seats in Pakistan and he was about to become the Prime Minister of Pakistan. Although he got the maximum seats in the Pakistan's election but army of the Pakistan was denied to give him what? Prime Minister because he was as the Bangladeshi people were considered second-grade 
citizen of Pakistan in that time. So what happened on 25th March, on 25th March 1971, on 25th March 1971, the Pakistani, West Pakistani armies, they led an operation which is said to be search light operation. Search, search light operation, search light, search light operation and in this operation the western pakistan army they brutally killed the bengali speaking people in bangladesh and more than lakh people were killed out of the fear many people from the bangladesh or bengali speaking people from the bangladesh they given they ran away from their country and they fled to india and in india most of them came to what Assam through the borders. Meanwhile, what had happened in Assam in 1978? In 1978, Hiralal Patwari. In 1978, Hiralal Patwari. Hiralal Patwari. Who was MP from who was MP from Lok Sabha constituency Mongoldoi? Meanwhile, what had happened in 1978? Hiralal Patwari, who had passed away, and he was the MP from the Mongoldoi Lok Sabha constituency. And we already know that if a member of Lok Sabha could not complete his five-year terms, then in order to fulfill his seats, an election used to happen that election is said to be by election okay that election is said to be by election what is by election if an mp who could not complete his five year terms it may be the uh, member of legislative assembly also if mp or mla die without completing his five years term then election used to happen in order to fulfill his vacancy that election is said to be by election so in the same way when Hiralal Patubari in 1978 he passed away it is about to conduct by election in that constituency of Mongoldoi. So during the electoral process it was observed that there is a sudden rise and increase in electorate. There is a sudden rise in the electorate of Mongoldoi constituency. So from the government estimate, estimates it was about from 1971 to 1981 there was 36.3% increase in the electorate in the Mongoldoi constituency okay so there is a sudden rise in population population or I mean to say the electorate in the Mongoldoi constitu constituency according to the government estimates it was about 36.3% increase in electorate from 1971 to 1981 and this lead to this causes the angry to the people of Assam especially Asu especially Asu got very they, they become angry they become angry and they started agitation they started agitation and Asu was supported by Asu was supported by Gano Sangram Parishad. Gano Sangram Parishad. They were also supported by Karmosari Parishad. Karmosari Parishad. They were also supported by many women organization. Many women organization. Women organization. What I am saying? What I am saying? That Asu become very angry due to sudden rise in population. And Asu was supported by Gano Sangram Parishad. Karmosari Parishad and many women organi organization. They together form, they together form all Assam Gana Sangram Parishad. They together form all Assam Gana Sangram Parishad and they led a foundation for the Assam agitation. For the Assam agitation. Initially the agitation was very peaceful. Initially the agitation was very peaceful. There were only few dharnas. But slowly and steadily the in a, um, agitation become violent slowly and steadily the agitation become violent and at that time 
since the agitation become very violent what happened as for the first time in 12 december in 12 december 1979 for the first time president rule was implemented in assam president president rule was implemented in assam in 12 december 1979 because the peaceful agitation was transformed into violent agitation so in order to <coughs> stop that violent agitation president rule was implemented from 12 december 1979 at the time of president rule assam chief minister was jogendra nath hazarika jogendra nath jogendra jogendra nath jogendra nath hazarika jogendra nath hazarika okay and as we already know know that in 1977 for the first time in the history of india janata dal come to power arms morarji desa became the first non congress prime minister of assam uh, prime minister of india and janata dal came to power in 1977 after the emergency which was declared by madam indira gandhi so but what happened morarji desai uh, uh, within 2 years he has to resign because why morarji desai has to resign because within the government there was a lots of controversies uh, re, re, within the government uh, there was a controversies among themselves so that made hard to resign in 1979 okay but at the same time yogendran Yag hazarika from in the assam was the chief minister of assam at the time of president rule who was succeeded by golab borbora in 1978 golab borbora was was the chief minister of assam he was from the janata dal again golab borbora golab borbora was succeeded by yogendranath hazarika golab borbora succeeded by what yogendranath hazarika and the prime minister of india at that time was saran singh saran singh was the prime minister of india when assam was facing what president rule from 12 december 1979 what i was saying i was saying that on 12 december 1979 when assam was facing president rule then chief minister of assam was jogendranath sajorika and prime minister of india was saran singh and who succeeded yogendranath hazarika before yogendranath yogendranath hazarika golab borbora was the chief minister of assam and he was from the janata dal okay now in 1980 in 1980 in 1980 what happened lok sabha election was announced in 1980 in 1980 lok sabha election were held where again madam indira gandhi became the prime minister of india at the same time people of brahmaputra valley in assam did not participated in the lok sabha election only the people of borak valley did participate in the lok sabha election but people of brahmaputra valley did not participate in the lok sabha election because of which 12 out of 14 seats were remain vacated 12 out of 14 seats were remain vacated why because people of assam especially the brahmaputra valley people did not participate in the lok sabha election okay now from 1980 to 1983 from 1980 to 1983 1983 three times president rule was implemented in assam from 1980 to 1983 three times president rule was implemented in assam meanwhile 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 in 1983 meanwhile in 1983 in 1983 assam vidhan sabha election were to be held meanwhile in 1983 assam legislative assembly election is to be held okay assam legislative assembly election is to be held now in retaliation in retaliation because people were very angry people were very angry so in retaliation what they did in in 
18 February in 18 February in in 18 February 1983 one very pathetic thing had happened that is Nelly massacre Nelly massacre Nelly massacre okay what was that that Nelly is basically in the Morega district at present so in Nelly is a village okay a group of people mainly tribal Lalung people Lalung tribe Lalung tribe along with few Assamese people they attack the Nelly and its surrounding village a group okay a tribe which is to be Lalung tribe along with few Assamese people they attack the a village called Nelly village which is presently at Morigao along with they attack many surrounding village of Nelly village okay so the Lalung tribe along with many Assamese people they attack Nelly and its surrounding villages and they kill most women and children also they kill very mercilessly and it was a very pathetic situation at that time okay Assam which was known to be what Sankar as an place in whole India at that time it was very horrible thing that had happened in a place like Hong Kong as an place okay so because the, those peoples who were in the Nelly they were said to be what Bengali Muslim they were said to be what Bengali Muslim so Bengali Muslims were killed very mercilessly by a group of tribe uh, in the Nelly and its surrounding village so this is very unfortunate thing that had happened during 1983 18 February why it had happened in retaliation because in 93 Assam Vidhan Sabha election used to be held in retaliation people were very angry so they did they the people did this very pathetic thing okay at the same time on on 27 February results were declared Assam Vidhan Sabha results of the voting were declared on 27 February 1983 election were held although it was not so success but election were held and results were declared on 27 February 1983 Hiteshwar Soikya became the chief minister of Assam. Hiteshwar Soikya became the chief minister of Assam led by Congress. Okay, led by Congress. And meanwhile, in 1984, meanwhile in 1984, we know that Simoti Indira Gandhi assassination of Simoti Indira Gandhi took place. She was killed, and because of which again the Lok Sabha election held. And at this time, Rajiv Gandhi became the Prime Minister of India, getting more than 400 Lok Sabha seats. That was a record. Okay, till now, no single party got 400 seats. And in 1984, after the assassination of Mrs. Indira Gandhi, Rajiv Gandhi became the Prime Minister of India, getting more than 400 seats by single party, so called Congress Party. When Rajiv Gandhi became the Prime Minister of India, then he called the ASU leader Prafulla Kumar Mohanto and thereby they made an agreement. An agreement was held in between Assam government and the ASU leader Prafulla Kumar Mohanto and the central government. And that agreement what result Assam Accord. That agreement result what Assam Accord. Okay, that agreement is called what? Assam Accord. Okay, Assam Accord I will do in the next class. Okay, that agreement is called what? Assam Accord, Assam Accord I will do in the next class. So, that agreement came on 15 August, 15 August, 15 August 1985. From today, almost 35 years back. Okay, so Assam Accord. There was an agreement which is called Assam Accord. According to the Assam Accord, a date cutoff date was fixed that from 24th March 1971, if any Bangladeshi reach or came to Assam, he will be fined out and he will be deported to Bangladesh. And how it will be done? 
how how this illegal bangladesh will be fine it will be fine by a process called nrc okay nrc was completed in the last year but till now it is not implemented okay so how does bangladesh illegal bangladesh will be find out by a process called nrc okay nrc was completed in the last year but till now it is not completed okay so as uh, this is what assam accord okay and this brings end to an assam agitation now the last part of the session is the impact or the outcome outcome of the assam agitation number 1 is the agp was formed from aagsp all assam ganasangram parishad agp was formed and according to assam accord hiteshwar sekya government was dismissed fresh elections were held agp came to power and prafullo kumar mohanto became the cm of assam at that time he was the youngest chief minister of india at that time number 5 agitation turns in turns the state into a battleground and ulfa was created on 7 april 1979 during the agitation and there was a oppression of bodo community during the movement and this gave rise to demand of bodoland in the later years and one of the most important thing had we got from the assam accord is the nomoligo refinery sankardev kala khetra iit guwahati that those were the outcome of assam accord but assam accord has not been implemented till now nrc remains the last hope for the people people to fulfill the objective of the movement so these were what the impact or outcome of the assam agitation so next class i will do nrc and assam accord together that's all thank you